hockey themed par 3, 17th. Ellie Zarek. Sister Maddie plays on the LPGA Tour. Fun hole. Rookie from Japan, Yuri Yoshida. At the 15th, a good one. In 2020, over at the 12th, A Lim Kim and Morgan. It's a bit of a weird setup this week. It's a Lim. It's a good one. They're starting on 1 and 11 because of the routing of the golf course for the tournament. It's green and a K update is on Hannah. Because she drove it right in the deep rough, hit a sand wedge out, essentially laying up, and that another sand wedge from 90 yards. Players raving about it so far this week. Green's rolling beautifully, some of the best they've ever seen. So it's nice when you feel like you hit a good putt, it's going to go in. Really solid save there from Rose. Ellie Zarek, who's got this one at the 17th. <laughs> Maddie and Ellie both here this week competing. Ellie just turned pro, played collegiately at. Here is the reigning Canadian women's amateur champ, Lauren Kim. Plays collegiately at the University of Texas. Part of this event. See if Hannah can escape with a par at 11. See if she can get the speed down. She did. You can see she barely tapped it. Certainly. I wouldn't have thought at all that Hannah Green would be the one to make a par on this hole. It's a crazy game, isn't it? Okay, makes you shake your head after that nice shot from Megan, gouging it out of the rough. Unfortunate. Putting back uphill. I mean, who would have thought that Hannah would be the only one in this group to make par? Breaking to her right. I think it's just outside the hole. She can't win the putt on the altitude, right, Trip? I couldn't wait to putt if I putted like that. <laughs> Top 20 finishes for Lexi. Here's a past champion. In fact, the last time it was in Calgary, area Jatanagarn won over at Pritis Greens. You have good memories of that place. Yeah, I played both times. A teammate of Rosang on the U.S. Solheim Cup team later this fall. This is Pernilla Lindbergh, final year of her exemption from winning it's in the western part of Canada for the second straight year. That's some good work for Rose, saving... She get it under par? Yes. No, it didn't move much. It almost wiggled right at the very, very end, Kay. Definitely fooled her. Well, we're all learning the breaks of these greens, players and caddies included. If this moves to her left now, just slightly. Good look there at Lexi's conventional putting grip. She's gone back and forth a little bit throughout her career, but predominantly over the last five years or so has putted with the claw up until the last couple of months. And as good as she is around the greens, here's Hannah for her part 12. Working hard these last couple of holes, stays at two under. Trying to work her way onto the Solheim Cup team for the United States, she's tied for second here. She plays the fourth. Hannah Green. Going with less than driver. This is a par four that moves slightly from right to left, and she's playing conservatively well short of the fairway bunkers. Two on the left, one on the right. You think it has got to happen at some point. Well, Allison Lee with a great chance to impress the Solheim Cup captain. She's playing with Stacy Lewis, and Stacy's pretty impressive herself. She played great last week. <laughs> Would you have expected anything less? And here is Allison Lee at the fourth to tie the lead. 
she and Stacy were teammates on the team you were on, Morgan, in 2015, and now she hopes to play for Stacy. Yeah, I was actually just thinking, I believe it was in Canada where she solidified her spot on the team in 2015. Uh, Andrea Lee did that last year in Vancouver. See you, Lynn, for par. It should just be a formality. A couple of feet. And Hazel Teen on the 72nd hole. First of her five wins. Rose Zhang over at the 14th. Back to back par fives with the rerouting, Morgan. Yeah, an opportunity to make up some ground here on the back nine. Clean uphill lie, plenty of green to work with. Yeah, that bunker right at the, almost at green level. Not a lot of really deep bunkers around this golf course. And here is Stacy at the fifth. Hole all the way on the back left here. Ooh. Oh, ho, ho. That's a captain's bounce right there. Uh, I was just thinking that. That'll be for birdie for Stacy. All right, up at the 14th, Rose Zhang for birdie. All right, two under. That's where Rose will stay. Stacy Lewis. Gets the captain's bounce, pays it off with the birdie. That's the other part of her game is so good. Her distance control with these is just usually spot on, and that's the key to good wedge shots. Now, this is not one of those. Got to go a little bit. Well, it is definitely something to watch. It sounds like this afternoon wave. Here in the last few holes. This is Lauren Kim at the 17th. Take a look at this with our top tracer technology presented by Progressive Insurance. Yeah, really Just trying to get it to chase up that ridge. It's not quite going to stay there. There's a pretty big slope here that dissects the middle of this 17th green. Getting her mind right, seeing different types of shots. Two hundred twenty five LPGA starts. Twenty nine top tens, the latest of which came last week. That whether it's your short game or your putting or, or something else is going to help you. Maybe when you do miss a shot here or there. Not and, to be on this hole though. Yeah, rest assured that is a sloppy six, but again, she um has got a par five next hole, she can make it up. And kind of getting too far ahead of yourself. And you hear players say it all the time so much easier said than done how about this from hannah green trip okay she made Excuse that me, that was easier said than done <laughs> for sure and off of hannah green's putt oh that hopped a little bit early there Kay. it sure did and it threw off the the speed and the direction a little bit yeah i'm still not quite sure it may have gone in but we'll never know The tour is headed to Megan's neck of the woods. And you said this is for par for Lexi, Kay? It is, and important for her not to miss two of these in a row. Uh, that was a better looking stroke right there. Ari Tonagarn over at the seventh. Now, normally she'd have two holes left, but because they're teeing off on one and 11. She actually has the 8th, ninth, and 10th to go. We see that a few times, every now and then. i got to do a little quick math. You said it earlier, Morgan, the golf course, about two and a half strokes over par on average. Here's Lindbergh at 17. Doesn't have to worry about the uphill as much. That big weekend at Lancaster, she came from Well, in less than two weeks' time, Lydia will be competing for over at the seventh, Allison Lee's second. Yep. 
has left herself just outside 100 yards. Let's see if she can stop the ball. We haven't seen. There we go. That's what you have to do. You have to land it in the rough. That's how you get it close to this 15th hole. At the 16th, we saw the putt from Roseanne come up short. This is for par. Morgan, nothing's really easy about this Earl Grey. No, the 16th hole has been one of the hardest on the golf course, too. I feel like the way that it is played today, granted, the weather has been difficult yep. for the most part, been quite windy, but it is playing a little bit more of U.S. Open-style golf where 23 players right now under par, K. It's a small group in a, in a large field, open field, 156 players. And Megan won at nine under last year at Shaughnessy. That was the first time that single digits under par had won since 2005. Came up short for par uh, for birdie. This is for par. Mm. Oh, considering the round that she has put together on this back nine, that that hurts. Drops her out of a tie for second. Especially the last half of it, it's almost straight downhill. This is a hard putt to get the speed right. Oh, yeah, she's done that. This looks good. That's an interesting thing, the 16th green. 16 and 9 are bent greens, and the rest of the golf course are mostly Poana with a little bit of bent mixed in. So it's something that you don't see very often, a couple of greens with slightly different types of grass from a... At the par 3 ninth. She'll have one more hole to go because players are beginning on one or 11 these first two days. Of a fade trip. Not that easy to hit a fade into a left flag stick, oh, though. But she's got it left of it, and it's trying, Morgan. Yeah, they'll bang the boards in honor of that good tee shot from Lydia. This was just a moment ago at 16 Hannah Green. Perfectly level, clean lie. I love her tempo and the acceleration she gets with bunker shots. The crew right yeah, there? Maybe. Yeah. Well, that's stealing one there. And yeah. back to even par. Just Lexi's shown a lot of patience today. Oh, goodness. Just can't get anything going her way with the flat stick. C.P. Casey Women's Open champ, Aria Jatanagarn at the ninth, her 17th hole of the day. She won over at Prittis Greens back in 2016. And Morgan, that was her fifth win in 10 starts that season. Took her to number one in the world eventually. I'll go resurface the green after she butts. Just don't distract her. Okay. go how about that now i gotta go resurface the green guys all right rose zang finishing up at the 18th for birdie oh this is a coveted birdie here only three so far today not to be but all in all in good position through First round. The right of the green at the 18th. Pitch to this point. This par. She's not alone today in players who have found Earl Grey. This is Roberta Litti. Looking for a third in a row. Wow. No one really knows this course coming in. Hannah Green at 17. Here it comes. So that's the second one Hannah's made in the last few holes from long range. But no, it's definitely, it makes, makes a big difference, especially for a player like Lexi, who has a tendency to get a little bit down on herself. The putter. Well. Oh. That was a brave, really solid putt. Yeah. That 
think speaks to uh, a really solid start. The only bogey-free round of the day from the three-time CPKC Women's Open champ Lydia Ko. Unusual, finishing on the 10th hole, those who began their round on the back nine. It's a quick putt here. And Aria Chitadikarn can't believe it. Gonna have to give him a low rating. There, were, there wasn't much of a shadow most of the day today, Kay. So yeah. <laughs> they weren't expecting it to come out, and it's turned into a nice afternoon. Oh, it sure has. The wind has made it really tricky, but boy, Hannah Green managed it so well. Can't wait to hear her thoughts on her putting. <laughs> like that long look that she takes at the hole there. This for a birdie birdie finish. Third birdie of the day on this hole. Needed one more titch of speed there. <laughs> I agree with you though. She really held herself together. A few frustrating moments out there, but she didn't let it get to her. Yeah, this group's gonna come out early tomorrow morning and let's hope that Megan gets off to a good start and starts holding some putts. She's got a few birdies due to her. Good solid up and down. Well, two over is slightly better than the stroke average. Rookie Caitlin Milligan from Oklahoma for Eagle from two over to even par. Coming off her first career made cut last week, Morgan. I can feel like a monkey a weight off your back hang out hang tough it's just what allison lee did today as well very solid round of golf right in the mix a lot of solheim cup hopefuls right there you've got lexi allison lauren coglin of course and savannah grew all for par okay stays at one under She's hearing all the chants, Savannah, people. Third time, both she and Brooke will be the Canadian duo heading to the Olympics. Three for three since golf is back in the games. Nice par save. 75. Daniel Kang for par. Putt back up the hill. Oh, it kind of looked like it hit a little bit of a bump. Something as the day goes on. Certainly a lot of players and caddies have walked all over these greens. Caitlin Milligan off the eagle at 14. Here comes Caitlin. Boomer Sooner. Michelle Zing to the 15-year-old American Angela Zhang, her third at the 16th. Yeah. Now this is, that's a great shot, but it's even better when you learn that she just got assessed a two-stroke penalty for slow play. Oh, asking for it to go one more roll. Oh, out of that thick lie, what a shot. And, and as you said, after all of those consecutive missed cuts, this game can be so cruel. And you just need that little something. Maybe for her, it's playing in her home country. Too. All right, here is Ellie Zarek. Can she get it to the hole? Slow, slow putt. Finally. Yes. Good read from John Pond. Oh, I see what you're saying. Good stroke from Gina. 구독과 좋아요, 알람 설정 부탁드릴게요.